Hey guys, Alan with Telekinesis here for another Final Cut Pro 10 quick tip. Uh, today's quick tip is going to be dealing with multicam editing and multicam workflow. Um, this may actually end up being more than one quick tip, we'll find out. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when editing multicam is you want to make sure, if you have any control over it at all, that your cameras and sound recording device are set up properly. What we always do is just set the time of day on our cameras and on our sound recorder. We use this guy right here, a Tascam DR100. Most people, I think a lot more people use a, a Zoom H4M. In any case, set your cameras and your sound recording uh, all to the same time code. In fact, it's really helpful to set it to the same hour, minute, second, do a little countdown and then you know, everybody presses the, the go button at the same time, and then you're within a couple of frames of each other usually. So you can see, we've brought our files in. Here's the audio. This came from the audio recorder. All of these come from a 5D that we were shooting with. That's from a 7D, and that's from a 60D. And then we have several more shots all going on here. Now, so you can see that once we've brought all of these in, we can set the organization from name to content created, and then you can see it lines up according to, well, theoretically, according to when they were made. Now, that's really helpful if you have multiple clips, uh, say if you're doing a narrative piece, and you have 50 takes and 50 audio takes. Theoretically, when you bring it in, if you click the content created clip, the audio and the video will be right next to each other, and so you can just select those two and hit sync and it'll do it. And you can do that for all of them and it makes it really, really simple. Uh, it's a little bit different with a big multicam clip like this, because what we did is we just rolled the audio for, um, you can see, 46 minutes straight. Uh, and then what we're going to be doing is dropping all of these video clips onto it, and Final Cut 10 will actually automatically sync those up using the on-camera mics with the, the audio that we recorded. So once you've imported your footage, it's a good idea to go ahead and do a little bit of work before you create your multicam clip. So for instance, all of these clips I know were shot with a 5D Mark II. So what I can do is select all of them, come over here to my info pane in the inspector. We can select those. And in the info pane, you can see there's a thing called camera angle. So what we can do is go ahead and call that 5D. Now, in basic view, that doesn't show up. So you'll want to come down to general or extended is usually the one I go for. It just shows you more information about uh, what's going on. You can change the camera angle. The audio, you can see I've already named audio. And then I have other clips, some shot with a 70 and some shot with a Canon 60D. Uh, and those kind of alternate going down. So, in any case, it's important to create camera angles, and I'll show you why right now. So let's grab everything, right click, create a new multicam clip. And you can see I've added a keyboard shortcut here, Control G, because I do a lot of multicam stuff. So I'm just going to use that, Control G. And you give it a name. We're going to call this Rooftop Series. And you can see I already have my angle assembly selected. Instead of automatic, I'm going to put my angle assembly by camera angle. And what that'll do is it'll put all of the clips that I've already marked as 5D in one camera angle. Same thing with 7D, 60D, and the audio. Obviously, the audio is only going to be one because it's only one clip. But everything else would get distributed into all of its own camera angles, and we'd end up with you know 20 different camera angles instead of just four. Angle clip ordering, you can set to content created. That's usually a good way to go. Or time code if you have time code. Uh, automatic usually works. It'll usually figure it out OK. And then angle synchronization, I usually set to automatic because we're going to use audio for synchronization. You can set it to time code if you have time code in your clips. Or content created, start a first clip, first marker on the angle. Those are all the old school methods of, of setting up a multicam clip or just synchronizing audio and video, but we'll just go ahead and do automatic because Final Cut 10 is awesome and has its own built-in audio sync. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see this is going to take a little while because it's a big clip. So we'll go ahead and just skip to the end of this. So you can see we've created our multicam clip. Here it is. On our next quick tip, we're going to deal with how to organize your multicam clip in case there are any issues in it. Then we'll start talking about editing.
Crabbit. Crabbington. Grrr.